Ascension reading for all the Sun, Moon and Rising Sagittarians out there. This is the third week of October 2016 and I want to say thank you for your likes and your shares, your support. Please thumbs up and share these videos. Um, um, this is the third week and it's the week of the fire week which is extremely good for you and for you guys, uh, you guys got one of the most um, wonderful reading for the fire people because this week has been um, a fire week but it has more um, water energy in this week we begin the week with a zodiac sign of the hurt energies and we are ending the week with a zodiac sign of the hair energies and the color in this week is black so use black to protect yourself black can always but it's a protective time of help for you guys and think positive try and bring in positive energies because the week is going to begin with positive news for you guys as i look at monday for you sagittarians what is happening in this week is that um the universe brings up the energy of the moon the moon is a water energy and um, if you had problems with people who were working against you or weren't on your um, side, the sun comes out and is bringing new energy to this situation, whether it's a situation or a relationship of people, um, because it's more people that was, you know, like against you, the sun is coming out and it's bringing energy. So it's going to hand that negative energy that you were dealing with, with these people. As we look at the energies for um for um the the uh, tuesday the energy has the wheel of fortune and the wheel of fortune has something to do with a house and it can be with your mighty i am present it can be with something um and and pattern that you have or new um attitudes that you have that you have changed but it has something to do with your house and as I look below that energy, there is conflicts in your house. Be careful, be open up to um, kind of balance these conflicts. What I'm loving is that the moon comes up. There's a second moon that is in your energy vibration. And this is just so good. The second moon is bringing healing to things that has been happening in your house and in your neighborhood and around there. Whatever that was happening in your house, there's healing that is coming in and it's bringing in good vibration. On Thursday, there is another water energy and this water energy was the hangman, but he is actually in reverse. And what is happening is that whosoever that was sending you negative energy because there was a jealous person, there were jealous people and a jealous person. And this energy of these jealous people and these jealous person is coming to an end. And it, it's, it's like you're, you yourself are reversing it. You yourself is changing the way you look at things and you're moving away from these people. What is just so good because I'm looking at this and there's three moons in your energy vibration reading for you guys, three moons and two fire. So there's a lot of cleansing going on here. And in your house, there's a lot of cleansing. So whatever what was going on in your house or your business, your place of business, there's energy, there's cleansing of new energies. As we look at Friday, the energy vibration of two people, their hair, but you know, one is looking, they have the, you know, this whole um, week, the energy vibration of people um, talking over other people is here. And on um, Friday, that is going to come to an end. It's going to come to an end. You know, pa be careful on Thursday and Friday for you Sagittarians out there because there's an energy here that is not good, but it's coming to an end. On Saturday, whatever is happening in your house, the devil is here. You're going to have conflicts for um, rosy, um conflicts with other people. And this have a situation to do with your house is right under your house. Be careful and be prepared. Um, on Sunday, the energy here is um, you're going to meet someone um, if you if you're going to a party or something like that, or you're out shop, doing the shopping or something, you're going to meet someone. And actually, you and this person is going to 
um, have a very good relationship. So if you're a man or a woman, it was a uh, relationship like a soulmate or a twin flame relationship. This is like one of those twin flame relationships. So open up yourself to the energies because this energy is here and it's a strong love relationship. The overall energy that you have is the nine of wands. And when the nine of wands comes up, it's spiritual protection. So whatever you're doing, you will be protected. There are the spirit guides and angel in this week. And I want to say thank you for being here. Like, shares, and thumbs up. Hold on for the general readings. Welcome to the general readings for the week number 42. It is the 42 week of 2016 and it's the third week of, of October 2016. Remember, I'm supporting all the artists and painter. If you are also artist and painter yourself and you'd like to get your, um, get out your painting so that my people can um, be aware of who you are. You can always try Alina, um Punt com and I am also supporting all artists and you can always mail me and ask me and I will do um, a, a profile of a month of you in my videos. Okay, it is the week number 42 and the energies that we have is from the um, energies that we have is chop wood. Whenever the energy of chop wood comes up, it is saying to you that you need to um, sit down, take a pen and paper and try and figure out what you want to do. You need to take the time off to connect with yourself. You're mighty. I am present. Um, when I go to chop wood is the time that I meditate. It's the time that you meditate and you connect. You are alone. You connect with your higher self. You look, you try to look at how you're planning. If there are questions that you don't know, journeys, ways that you don't know how to, you ask the universe at that time, your guides and angels, and they will give you the answer. So whenever the energy of chop wood comes in, that means it is saying, take the time off and connect with your spirit guides. As I look at the next energy, it is the horse king. And I love the horse king because the horse king always come to us to um, support us. And whenever he comes up, he is bringing an assistant, uh, assistant to us. So it, it can be in different ways because he brings assistant all you have to do is to ask these are wisdom the wisdom room and we never know these things but he always come as your ally and he helps you on your journey ahead so if you need assistance and control in anything in your life you can always call up on the horse um the horse um um the the horse king if you need that help as we look on we're looking at the map and the energy is saying wide open and what this week is saying to most of us is that the universe is wide open there is a wide open universe and whenever we connect with ourselves and we find out what is our true blueprint we find out that special thing that has has brought us to this universe at this time on this planet earth that special thing that we can use to help other people and not only other people but help ourselves too that is when you reach that point and you realize that you're living in a vast abundance universe and if you just open up yourself and connect and understand you will see the blessings that is going to come out the next energy that i have it is a woman with a heart in her hand Whenever the energy of this woman comes up with a heart in her hand, I always think about that woman that has such a big heart and so much love to give to humanity. And sometimes there the problems and the things that we are going through in our life, it is hard for us sometimes to open up our hearts to people who are um, around us. And what I want to say 
to each and every person out there because each and every person vibrates with a higher um, a vibration of feminine, masculine and feminine. You need to nurture the feminine side of you. Ask the universal angel to um, merge your masculine and feminine energies together so that you can vibrate at a higher vibration level. This is wonderful. It's because we need to open up our hearts because we're coming to the end of a year, a end of a karma year. I know a lot of people has gone through the fire, the storm, the hurricane and everything. But the more we keep our hearts open and are not healing our heart chakra, we can never move on. We can never open up to the unconditional love that we were all born with. And this is the time. And it's going to be the beginning of Christmas. And some people are going to have different holidays before it reach up to Christmas. But open your hearts, especially to all these young people, these artists who are trying to get their work out there in each and every artwork. It triggers something in each and every one of us. And if you're an artist, if you're trying to work on small heart, whatever you're trying to work on, and you need a little help and support, mail us and send us your, your copy of your thing, and we will support you by giving you a month special of free publicity. And I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. And we'll talk next week. Namaste.